A trainload of politicians were going down a hill in the country when all of a sudden the train lost its brakes and derailed, crashing into a farmer's field. The old farmer, after seeing what happened, went over to investigate. He then dug a hole and buried the politicians. A few days later, the local sheriff came out and saw the train crash and asked the old farmer where all the politicians had gone. The old farmer said he had buried them. The sheriff asked the old farmer, were they all dead? The old farmer replied, well, some of them said they weren't, but you know how them politicians lie. A politician visited a small remote rural town and asked the inhabitants what the government could do for them. We have two big needs, said the town mayor. First, we have a clinic, but no doctors. The politician whipped out his cell phone, spoke for a while, and then said, I have it sorted out. A doctor will arrive here tomorrow. What is your other need? We have no cell phone reception at all in our town. A son tells his dad, I want to be in politics when I grow up. The dad replies, Are you insane? Have you completely lost your mind? Are you a moron? Then the son says, Forget it. There seems to be too many requirements. Why do we call it politics? Because poly means many and ticks mean blood-sucking parasites. How do you know if a politician is lying? Their lips are moving. How many congressmen does it take to change a light bulb? <laughs> Two. One to change the bulb and one to change it back again.